Hey guys, uh, oh, hey guys, um, this may kind of seem a little random, and, um, you probably saw my, uh, Cam Studio tutorial video, so I'm kind of doing one of those, but it's not for Cam Studio, in fact. Um, if you've noticed, um, that on Cam, um, no, Video Game Lovers, whatever their numbers are, um, they use this software that I taught them to do, and I have to give them a nice old pat on the back, so go subscribe to them. Um, today, actually, as you saw in the title that is above this video, um, it says that I'm going to teach you how to clone with Windows Movie Maker. Now, it could be Vista, it could be, uh, XP, it could be any w movie maker. Um, so let's get started. First thing what you want to do is get the video get the uh clips that you want to do now listen up there's two things that you must must do one make sure that you never ever move the camera ever so in this case i'll take this and this oops i'll take this and then you want to put this into the timeline. Make sure it's timeline, not storyboard. So there we go. Now we're, what we're going to do is go uh, get your other clip, which is right here. Put it in. La di da. All right. Now what you're going to do is take the two clips and slowly, you'll see a gr like a blue triangle, slowly shrinking. Now what you want to do is barely make it disappear like that. That's perfect. And then you want to cut off all the access, poop, and all that stuff. And then you're going to go to the beginning, and oh, yay, you did it, you think. Oh, wait. No, you didn't. Where's your other guy? Oh, there he is. He's coming together, but there's a problem. He's appearing, and he's disappearing. What you want to do is go to your browser website, and you're going to go to this uh, this link, which is, uh, I forgot what it's called, but there's a special link somewhere, um, hold on a sec. How to clone yourself using Windows Movie Maker. Um, what you want to go to is FX. So re hand. So what you want to do is go to this website, and then you're gonna go to tips and uh this thing. Then you're gonna go to split video, and then you're gonna so you're on rehandfx.coms dot org slash split video html hdm. Now see, you can get all these wicked cool transitions and such, and um, what you want to do is get uh, the first link right here, right here, and you're going to have it run and all that stuff. Once you have that, you go back, you have to restart your entire Movie Maker thing, so don't even think about doing that. What you want to do is get this, which will be in the link below me. And below the video, and once you had that, you will have things at the bottom in or right here it will say split, and then these all you'll have about um one, two, three, four, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seventy nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one. 22, 23, 24, 25, uh, you'll have about 24 videos of cl uh, different transitions now. Sorry. Now, in order to make it so you have two clones at one clip, you're going to go like this. You're going to take split vertical soft, and you're going to drag it onto the clip. It's as easy as that. And then watch. Ta-da! Now, this is not the clones video, and I kind of did this. Now, you're probably wondering, how the heck did I get widescreen with Movie Maker? So, now I'm going to teach you how to do that as well, which is cool. You're going to go up to Tools, and you're going to hit Options. Uh, this is what it will look like 
if you uh, scroll in, this is what it'll look like. Um, it's NTC, NTSC, and four, three. You want to take these two, and all you want to do is click on the ones right next to them, and then hit OK, and boom, you got widescreen. And you, um, what other thing did I do? Wicked cool. Oh yes, and now you want to know how to do slow motion. Wicked cool slow motion. Um, all you have to do is, it's this easy, you just go to video effects and go down to slow down half and drag it on and then you're gonna kinda, hold on, then you're gonna wanna delete that or whatever. And then you're gonna slow down half, pull this back to where it was before. And then you're going to go transitions, blah, blah. Well, pretty much just fix up the video. And then watch. Now it's in slow motion. See? See? Slow motion now. Uh, this has been a RevTor789 tutorial, not entertainment video. And, and you have just been filled in. Sorry, I have a bubble in my throat. Um, also, one more thing, I am making a 50th video, once I hit my, your, my 50th video will have a HD camcorder, and it will be on a story called The Boy and His Gun, it will be posted sometime in January, maybe February, if not, maximum February, um, you will be seeing another video on th Thursday, Thursday I think, today is Monday, um, I hope you enjoyed the video. And yeah, so um I excuse me for the two videos that I posted. Those were wicked random. I am going to delete them. Um if not, if you haven't seen the videos yet, then I've deleted them. Um So yeah, and I've also started my iPod channel, which I'll be s making iPod videos soon, and I probably will be making a video every other day maybe. Um Probably not, though, because I travel way too much. And I don't get to go on the computer as often as I used to be. Um, also, VidCon coming out soon. And you can check out more information. It's on July 29th and 30th. Uh, somewhere on the east border of America. Near, either in Boston or New York City. And it's going to be wicked cool. And you can check out more information on Facebook.com slash vidcon so yeah that's all i need to do uh reftors i'm reftor i am obviously trevor mcwalters and you've just been filled in i will see you next time uh all right bye bye